vintage computer time welcome back just wanted to show you a blast from the past this is an IBM ThinkPad 380D uh, built uh, started around 1997 so we're now going on 22 years you can see here I'll give you the uh, the back of the machine okay made in Mexico and this is when IBM was still IBM okay now, I, I believe that's the date right there 9707 so July 1997 and obviously look Windows 95 okay on here so 24 years now it's quite a thick machine as you can see here Okay, compared to a modern laptop, this is not even modern, this is old. You can see how thick that is. This thing is quite chunky. It's uh, like a book. Look at this. It has PCMCIA cards. There's the um, on-off switch. We've got on the other side uh, audio, a knob to control the volume, headphone jack, microphone. 1.44 inch floppy if anyone remembers those and a CD drive This was the addition for the 380d the 380 did not come with it So this is a floppy if you remember, okay and a CD with an old version of Ubuntu which I have not been able to boot yet because I have to create a boot up disk This will not uh, boot off of a DV uh, off a CD anyway it's got a bunch of goodies on here. Let me try to open this up because uh, I, I've got one hand because I'm holding the phone with the other. Hang on. Okay. And here we are. The battery on this thing is uh, pretty much gone now, so it's plugged into the wall. It has an Intel Pentium inside. The on switch is here. We'll turn it on. And there we go. Okay, now the screen on this thing, I'm not sure if they were crappy like this to begin with. There's our RAM. That's 24 megs. Megabytes, not gigabytes. 24 megabytes. Um, there is a knob here on the side to control the screen. Right there. And as you can see, it's horrible. If you're not right in the middle, I mean, even with, when it is in the middle, it's pretty horrible. The refresh rate on this thing is extremely slow. I don't know. Again, it could be the age of the screen, but it's really, you'll see when we're playing a few games later, uh, I'll try a few things. Um, okay, so there you have it. It's loading up. It thought there was a drive in here, sorry. I had something in there before. Let's just close everything. Okay. So, and there. I was trying to run Ubuntu. Okay. Okay. So let's go over here to uh, my computer and see what we got. Properties. Okay. So we've got a Pentium, 24 meg of RAM. Okay, 24 megs. It's nothing. Um, and let's look at what else do we have here? Anything in device manager? You can see a few of the components in here. Um, performance, I'm not sure what we're gonna see there. 24 meg, 32 bit machine. Yeah, basically that's it. Um, hard drive space. Let's have a look there, see what we got. Oh, I should open it up and let's go to the hard drive. Now this this particular computer uses one of those little dingy dangy things, the joy joysticks. I don't even know what it's called. There's no touchpad. They didn't have them back then, or you know, wasn't you used? So it's a little bit of annoyance, you know, using this thing. Um, but you know, I, I didn't want to plug in an external mouse at this point. Uh, this is okay. So there we have it. The hard drive right here, drive C is a whopping 1.34 gigs, okay? 1.34 gigs, basically two CD-ROMs worth, 
okay? What a CD-ROM like this is about 650 or 700 megabytes, okay? So we have about double two CDs worth of storage on this entire computer, uh, which again, back then was considered a lot. Um, I installed a few things. Thankfully, I can read CDs on this thing. Uh, unfortunately, I only have DVDs now to burn. I don't know if I can even find CDs, blank CDs readily. Um, so I was able to burn a few CDs and, and transfer some things over to this computer. Um, it does not have, as you can see, any USB ports. USB did not exist back then, or maybe wasn't part of the features, you see. It's got an old PS2 style. I forgot what kind of uh, port that is, but that's an old mouse port. There's a serial printer and VGA output. No USB, which means that you cannot easily transfer anything. It won't boot off of even a CD. Never mind USBs, they didn't exist. There's no ports. So I can't easily copy anything to this machine unless I find a way to network it in, which involves some old cards. The only real way to get stuff in and out of this computer is to use an old floppy, which I need to have another computer with a floppy drive in to copy stuff. And, uh, you know, I have a, a, a few of these old drives sitting around, but it's just, I why you put it in new computers? It's just a waste of a space. Um, I never use it. But anyway, so I got this machine running. I wanted to show you, I'll play some music. I hope YouTube doesn't flag this thing because I'm not sure if it will. We're going to open it up and see what loads. I think I have Winamp running here. Yeah, there we go. That's Winamp. So it's playing some music. Uh, I think I have... Do I have a visualizer here? I might have a visualizer if I can just figure out how to work it. Um, EQ. How did I do this before? There. Oh, here we go. Visualization. Uh, visualization mode, scope. Analyzer mode, scope. Uh, oh, start, stop plugin. Have some nice plugins there. Okay. So it plays music. It seeks pretty fast too. You can go. You can hear the volume knob here. Off and then on. Okay, there you go. I'll turn this off. Okay. And I tried out something here. I turn this thing off here. Like that? Yes, no? Okay. I can't seem to turn this stupid thing off. Let's go. Turn off. It's not responding. Uh, and now it's playing music and I can't seem to grab this. Come on. Okay. Let's try control out delete. We're going to end task here. Uh, not responding. Okay. And task. And task. Yeah, back in the day when your uh, task manager had like three things in it. Okay. I don't even know what these are. Internet, load WC, find fast. All right. Anyway, um, Winamp. That was Winamp. Okay. I have MAME. Okay. If you all remember, MAME is um, multi arcade machine emulator. Again, just for testing purposes, okay, remember these games are, uh, they're out in the wild. Uh, there are a few Raspberry Pi um, MAME or Pi MAME distros out there, uh, and you can actually pull all the ROMs out of there and play around with them in different computers. Uh, I'm going to show you Galaga here. So this is an, a, you know, a retro computer. You play retro games on it, you get that nostalgic feel back. Again, refresh rate on this thing is horrible. Uh, hopefully, the VGA monitor is much better. I'm pretty sure it's the LCD display. It's 20, you know, two at least 22 years old now. It's probably just very, very slow. That's Galaga, the boot screen of the machine, and uh, in a moment it should start up. Okay, and let's get the sound going here. I'm going to put coins in. Okay, here we go. 
and we're gonna start which I believe is spacebar, I don't remember, or enter, or one. Okay. And how do I shoot with this thing? Uh... Oh, there we go. Alright, I can't play with holding the phone at the same time. Sorry. But anyway, there you have it. That's Galaga. But look, if you look at the screen, again, I'll try to uh, adjust the contrast here. It's basically um, just not very bright. The contrast ratio is terrible. And the, um, you can see when they come down, you see when, the, because they're going pretty fast, they don't, the pixels don't come up very um, bright. Anything that moves on the screen, uh, because of the fast movement, it's not, it, it, the LCD doesn't have enough time to kick in and out. So it's uh, going very, very slow. Um, you know, so it's showing up very faint. Okay, let's go to Pac-Man. Eh? Pac-Man here somewhere. Pac-Man Midway, I think. There we go. Okay, so again, another classic, which you might remember. This one I don't only need, I don't don't have to use more than one hand to move. So there it is. I, I'll try to set the contrast a little better. Let's put some credits in. And here we go. So that's MAME. Um, okay, very interesting. And what else do we have on here? There's a whole bunch of old programs. Hold on, let me quit this thing. The mouse is really annoying. Um, so you saw it can play music. I can play MAME. Um, I don't think I have a video on here. Uh, it would run really slowly and probably like crap anyway. I, pr I could put a CD. CD, um, a video on a CD maybe? They don't really have them anymore. VCDs, um, they pretty much went extinct. And then DVDs replaced everything. This is not a DVD, but they had video CDs. Uh, quality was crap, but for the time it was good. We have uh, several programs on here. Okay. We've got... Uh, what do we have here? Um... Okay, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Works, as you can see there, QuickTime, that's not really, anyone use QuickTime anymore, Real Audio Player, which is also pretty much a goner, uh, what else do we have here, Simpatico, Netscape, everyone remember Netscape, and that's it, but yeah, most of these things are gone, besides Microsoft Works, there's also the full version of these programs here, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't think we need both anyway. All right, here we go. I don't know who it's registered to. It's registered to a valued Microsoft customer. Okay, so there you go. And there we have it. Microsoft Word. And uh, what version is this about Microsoft Word? Microsoft Word 97. Okay, so yeah, all for pretty much contemporary to that time period. I don't think it'll run anything much newer than that. So I'm not gonna bother trying to install anything. Uh, but there you have it. A blast from the plast, an old machine, um, still fully functional. Uh, I just wish if there was some way to get some kind of internet connectivity, I'm not, I don't know if it's really even worth browsing with this thing, to be honest. 
um, you know, playing old games maybe, just for nostalgia purposes, you could plug in through the VGA card, uh, the output, maybe to a monitor, and uh, at least get a little bit better uh, screen instead of using this this screen. I wonder if you can, uh, well, if you can close it, I think it's going to turn the laptop off. So you, you're going to have to find a way to disable the auto shut off when you close the lid and hook up an external keyboard so you can at least control your, your people. And then you can use this thing basically as a, uh, uh, you know, a main console runner. Uh, not that you'd want to, uh, but in, if you needed to. And now we'll shut down our Windows, trusty Windows 95. Shut down computer. And yes, those old Windows 95 sounds. Very exciting. Computer's off. And there you have it. The IBM ThinkPad 380D, circa 1997, uh, with 1995 era software on it as well. And uh, that now makes it 22 years old if it was a 97 machine. Many of you watching this video may be younger than 22. Um, and if you are, you'll get an idea of what we were using way back then. And this thing probably cost a couple thousand bucks by today's money. Yeah, it would have been pretty expensive. Very expensive. And by the way, I didn't mention how heavy this thing is. It weighs like a brick. It's really heavy. Very heavy. So imagine lugging that thing around. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments and let me know what you think. Take care. Bye for now.